Capture One contains built-in styles and built-in presets, and also presets and styles you have created or imported yourself. Presets are saved adjustments that contain just one tool. Styles work in a similar way, but can include adjustments from as many different tools as needed. To preview a style or preset, simply hover over the name. Moving down a list of styles, you'll see it will be quickly represented in the viewer on the right hand side. To apply a style or preset to the background layer, simply click on it once. Styles and presets applied to the background layer will show at the top here. Notice that styles and presets have a different icon. To remove a style or preset from the background layer, simply right click on it and choose clear from background. Applying a style or preset to a layer allows opacity control of that layer. To apply a style or preset in this way, first choose the style or preset that you want to use, then right click and say apply to new layer. A new layer is created in the Layers tool with the name of the style or preset that you used. To adjust the opacity to reduce the impact of the style or preset, simply grab the opacity slider and set it to the amount that you desire. Just remember some tools are not supported on layers like the black and white tool for example, so if you try to apply a style or preset with the black and white tool, then you'll see a warning on screen. To apply a style or preset to multiple images, first select them in the browser and then apply the style or preset to the background layer in the same way as we did before. If you want to add the style as a layer, again right click and apply to new layer exactly the same way as we did before. Make sure edit, edit all selected variants is chosen as otherwise the style or preset will only be applied to the highlighted image in your selection. After making adjustments to any tool, you can save this as a preset. Click on the preset icon in the top right of the tool and say save user preset. Some tools allow you to decide which elements of the tool you want to include by turning the checkboxes on and off. In this case, the curve tool is just made of one element, so there is only one checkbox. Then simply click save, give your preset a name, I'll call this RGB Extra Contrast and choose Save. After saving a preset, it will be available from the preset menu of the tool, as well as from the Styles and Presets tool in the User Presets section. To save a set of adjustments as a style, go to the Tool submenu and choose Save User Style. Pay attention to the next dialog because this shows you all the tools that go to make up this style. Now some tools might not make sense to apply universally to other images, therefore if we want to remove them from the style, we can simply uncheck it from the box. For example, it often doesn't make sense to have cropping as part of a style. Click save and give your style a name. I'll call this my style 01 and click save. Your style is now available to choose in the user styles area for any other image. To export a style or preset to another system running Capture One, simply save it as before. But in this case, save it to a different location, for example, the desktop. Then simply move the .co style file to the other computer. To import a style or preset, again simply go to the tool submenu and say import styles and navigate to the .co style or .co preset. Styles and presets can also be applied during capture and the import of images. To instantly apply a style in a tethered workflow, simply choose it from the styles drop down menu in the next capture adjustments tool. During import, 
simply go to the adjustment section and choose your style here and it will be applied to the images on import. Don't forget any style or preset applied during import or during tethered capture can simply be removed if needed.